All right, good morning. It's been a while since I've done a vlog uh, on the on the channel, so I'm going to bring the camera along with you here today. I got a bunch of videos to shoot. I work, started working on the M5, uh, running to get the Titan T, the Titan 7 TS5s mounted. So I capture a little footage there. Uh, I'm going to interview today uh, for the media position. I've got to, of course, check in with everybody at the garage. Uh, what else do I got to do? I gotta hit the gym. Uh, man, I've got a lot, a lot going on today, so I figured I'd grab the camera and make the day even more difficult. Uh, so I'm about to jump in the car. It's about seven o'clock now. Jump in the car and head up to Ocala. It's about an hour drive, 45 minute drive, to go uh, see uh, my new, my new friend Jeff, who you've seen in videos before. He's going to, uh, he's going to, um, you know, mount the. The tires I'm doing 275, 295, so we'll see if they fit on the M3. Uh, Titan says that that's the size to go, so I'm doing it rather. Uh, ra I'm doing it rather leerily, if that's a word, uh, with some apprehension, we'll say, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully they fit. Uh, but I've got to coat the wheels after we get them mounted and everything. So, man, it's so funny. I'm sitting here uh, watching uh, my friend Mark uh, Savage Geese uh, review the F10 M5. And I've never, uh, dude, it's just spot on. Like, if you go watch the video, uh, you'll have my exact entire thoughts of uh, so far with the F10M5. Uh, the only thing I'm a little less worried about is the warranty stuff because I'll fix it or pay to have it fixed. I, don't, I wouldn't buy a warranty on a car. So, uh, but he, man, I've never heard anything like, I'm telling you, just go watch it. Just go watch the video on the M10M5 and you'll have my exact thoughts. The only major difference other than warranty that I'm not concerned about is the brakes. I have a carbon ceramics and they feel like they're going to rip my face off. Uh, so uh, the braking actually is surprising on the car. We're going to have a lot more thoughts as I go on, but uh, I thought you might be interested to hear my initial thoughts by proxy. Go listen to Mark. Oh man, this guy. Looks like he got something. I've left them here, catch some of the bugs that come out here. But look at that sucker, it's no joke. So, two clean, M three clean cars. Oh man, this is a good day. The M5 isn't clean and the truck isn't clean. But uh, 1M looking good. I got some bad news. The, uh, the center console has been discontinued. So I can't get it. So I only have the one piece. I'm sad. I really wanted to, to get that completely dialed. I'm really thinking about calling my buddies at Dynan and swapping the suspension. I just love the Dynan suspension on the U92 so much. So much. And I'm absolutely in love with it. And this one is just, it's, it's good, but it's just much more harsh. So, anyway, the 1M. Oh, the other good news is the headlights came are coming so he shipped them uh, two days ago and uh, I just emailed the guys at Slack about the front lip they said they had it done but uh, it hasn't got, gotten here yet so the headlights will be done and the front lip will be done here hopefully not next week because I'm going to Seattle but the following week and then you'll hear here in a second the new plenum the intake sounds remarkably different I should have kept my mouth shut about it, I don't expect it to do anything different. But holy moly, it sounds completely different, which is fantastic. Well, I do have a truck, so I should be taking this. But I gotta drive all the way to Ocala, so I'd rather just put the wheels in the back of the M3 and drive it, because I prefer to drive this. So we got the wheels here ready, TPMS sensors. They'll do all the mounting and balancing. The tires are there. I always just buy them online. Actually, you don't, you don't even pay for them with discount tire. You just agree to buy them, put the order in. They show up when they show up, which I, you know, I ordered them like two weeks ago. I schedule the appointment for two weeks out, order the TPMS. Everything shows up. I go up there. I always palm the guy a hundred bucks. He takes care of me. We do the wheels without jacking them up, and then I bring them home and do my thing with you know, coating them and then mounting them and all of that. So. That's the plan, that's the process. Yeah, I can really see, see this is what I wonder, is the suspension difference because of the dining 
and factory shocks, or is it because of the M3? This road is darn near undrivable in the 1M. It's just so rough. This car is very, you know, it's not smooth, but it's not like shattering your teeth. I wonder if the 1M is just stiffer, it has less sound deadening and things like that than the M3 does, but this car is just, just feels so much better on this road. I just wonder how much is the suspension and how much is the series of the car. Anyway, I'm not sure. So, third gear, yeah, third gear. Let me just show you, give you a little sense of what this intake sounds like. It's pretty crazy. Mike is reasonably accurate, but oh my gosh, it's so much better. This car just sounds nasty. I can't wait to hear what it sounds like outside. I'll get some video soon. Kind of hard to drive with one hand and shift. It really doesn't sound much different when you're doing like normal idle, like normal driving like this. But when you, when you give it the sauce, oh man, it sounds incredible. I'm, I'm uh, having to eat the, my words when I'm talking about how it does, this isn't gonna do anything, it's not gonna sound any different, it's just gonna look cool. Well, boy was I, I was wrong, 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 like dead wrong. So cool. I really wonder how much of my life I've spent doing this kind of thing, where I drive, whatever, an hour, two, an hour and a half, two hours, uh, combined with all the time spent just doing the research, figuring out what to buy, and then, and then you know, preparing that thing, whatever. And in this case, wheels. I'll probably have another five or six hours of coating them, and I don't even know if they're going to work. Right? I don't even know if they're going to fit fit the way I know they're gonna fit but I don't know if they're gonna fit the way I want them to fit so man I, I can't I can't even imagine how much time I've wasted doing this like if I didn't like cars what the heck would I do with all this time <laughs> just countless hours of sitting in waiting rooms and I, thousands of hours of my life just sitting there waiting and or driving or or obsessing it's uh it's a it's like a, a part-time job and I bet you could classify the amount of time and effort I've spent doing different car modifications and buying and selling and just all the crap that goes with it. Oh man, now it's a little out of control because it's kind of what I do, but geez. So what, I, what I've now developed these guys, so I'm up here, I think this is my, so let's see, the black wheels, fix the black wheels, the HREs fix those. Uh, then we did the, um, these wheels here. I think this is my fifth time up here in the last two months <laughs> to uh, to the guys at uh, Discount Tire. Uh, and so my foolproof plan, it's foolproof to this point, is you palm the dude a hundo, right? You give him a hundred bucks up front. Say, look, I wanna I wanna bribe you. And I say this every I wanna bribe you to to take care of me. I don't you know, I don't, I don't say this, but you know, again, I'm not looking for a deal. Can't go in this looking for a deal. I'm going in this looking for service, and I got to pay for that. At least that's the way I look at it. You know, they would take care of me one way or the other, but not the same way that they take care of me now. I mean, he, you know, Jeff calls me when the tires get there. Uh, you know, he hopefully look forward to what looks forward, at least to some extent, that I'm going to come up there because I'm going to give him a hundred bucks. You know, and every time you know like clockwork 100 bucks the other part of this that's key if you want to keep the relationship going develop it is don't freaking complain like if they charge a little extra because the alignment takes longer or they're taking a little extra care you know just pay it don't complain don't ask for a discount that's how you blow this whole foolproof plan up uh, so, you, you know, again, I'm, I am bribing to some extent, but really I'm showing them that I care about their service and I value it. 
uh, and that requires a lot of times you to pay a little extra. When you go into this thinking about this, you you know, I tend to do this where I'm like, man, a hundred bucks. I mean, I spent whatever, 2,600 on the wheels and then another couple of hundred on the TPMS and then, you know, and then the tire, whatever the tires are, 15, 1600. So, you know, I'm, you know, $5,000 into this. What's another hundred bucks to take care of the guy that's going to put this all together. That's the way I look at it anyway. So, uh, otherwise you kind of start nickel and diming things and then you don't take care of the most important part, which is the dude that's going to be, you know, handling these and putting the sum of the parts that you spent so much money on, so much time and energy on, he's the guy that's gonna put it all together for you and can either make or break it. So you know, that's my thought on that. And uh, I'm telling you, to date, I've probably done this a hundred times. It it works every time. And I self-deprecate a little bit, say, look, I'm, I'm a little crazy. Um, uh, but I, I promise you, I'm easy to get along with. If you if you help me out, you know, I just kind of throw myself under the bus that I, you know, I'm just I'm a nervous Nelly about this kind of stuff, and I really enjoy the process, and I really wish I could do what they do, uh, and uh, and I'm coming to them because I think that they're they're good at what they do, and so I develop that relationship, and then a lot of times I end up becoming buddies with these guys. I get their cell phone number, they just give it to me. I don't ask for it, and. Uh, that you know I give them permission that if they needed something from me like many times I've helped to provide business advice I've um, you know exchanged services with a, a lot of uh, different uh, companies and guys that, that, that uh, have a skill set that I don't you know the other thing with this car I don't know what's going on I think there's something with the fan belt, maybe one of you U92 guys can help me out here. When it's cars under really heavy load or it's really hot out, I get like a little, um, you know, the fan is kind of kind of causing, not a rough idle, because the car's idling the same, but it's like the, the fan is, is slaving away and I can kind of feel it in the seat of my pants. I wonder, uh, I wonder if it has, uh, it has something to do with the, uh, the underdrive pulleys. I don't know. I mean, that that would make sense. You know, the accessories aren't getting as much as they're used to. But I think maybe I've got a maybe I need to replace the fan. I'm not sure. Uh, it didn't start right away after doing the underdrive pulleys, but I did those in the spring, so I'm not sure. And maybe you guys could weigh in on that. All right. So I left at eight. Maybe it's not an hour. It's uh, it's like 45 minutes. All right, Jeff, the man, taking and taking care of me again. Making sure we get these things mounted without jacking them up. Now we're going super aggressive. I'm going 275, 295. We'll see if they fit. It's a very uh, aggressive. Big tires, yeah. So, I'll roll one out here for you. The TPMS. We're doing my normal PS4s. Those people's, uh, those are the front. Rears. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These are fronts. Rears. Fronts. <laughs> Got a lot of denaving to do. So, supposedly they fit. We're going to see. I mean, I know I've done 295s in the rear before. It's the fronts that I'm not sure about. But we'll see. Yeah. Activate. I'll activate them and everything. So these, you can't just put them in. They have to actually be set. Yeah, uh, a lot of the hot ones, if they weren't programmed, you gotta, uh, it, uh, my scans will unlock and reverse. Do you guys have these? We in... should be talking about them. Oh, well, shoot, I should stop freaking buying them. <laughs> I didn't know that you had them here. Yeah, and then ours actually have a 60 or 70,000 mile warranty on Oh, well, shoot, I need to start doing that. Uh, Matt, what year was the um, BMW? 2011, or 13. This is the uh, M3, right? Yep. So we're basically program sensor here um, at the hop. And, and it all um, does it wirelessly, right? Yeah, so it should have the program and it should be done for Some of them are already programmed on here, so um, we'll find out if, if it doesn't program. Um, it means it's already been programmed. Got it. So it looks like it's not going to, which is okay. So Otherwise you end up with a darn light on the dash. Right. Do you have to do each one individually? Um, yes, but once uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just test them all to make sure they're working because it looks like they've already been programmed because it usually doesn't take this long. Yeah. This this model, this model here. Yeah. Um, it's usually BMW specific. Yeah. So we've used I've used these exact thing. I buy these from Turner, Turner Motorsports, but they're not programming. And I, what I don't want to do is end up with a light on the darn dash. So he's going to check to see if they have a 
set stock and what I may do is send these back and we'll make sure that what we put in works. All right, so we figured out there was an update on the uh, programmer and we have to use the three series, not the M3. And so we're doing all fresh, brand new sensor instead of rolling the dice here. so much less nervous about these wheels because like they're like five five hundred bucks a piece not three thousand a piece I like that better kind of like my m3 is it has like 30,000 miles on it I feel better about it So again, we're mounting these uncoated and I'll coat them later. I want the wheel weights to stick. If I coat them, the wheel, if I coat them, the wheel weights might fly off. So how do you know, is there a dot on the tire or something that tells you, For how do you, the offset PPMS sensors? Oh, um, so there, there used to be mounting dots on tires, kind of an older technology to line up the high and low spot. Uh, yeah. guiding mark to line up in the valve stem. I noticed, yeah, like PS4s, they don't even have any. Yeah, a lot of that stuff isn't on there anymore because the technology has gotten so advanced that it's kind of useless now. Got it. Now. Actually, uh, had some people complain that they didn't like the dot from the tire anymore. So. part done so you add a little air and then you go and pop the yeah all over inflated um, another old thing we used to recommend was this over inflated to seat the bead make sure everything's fully seated i still do it especially on stuff that i know is going to be sent to the rod or very yeah involved. oh did you make sure we're doing this right is that the rear uh this is the front okay so that's the nine and a half yes, sir. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. One of us has got to make I, I should trust you. Guaranteed, if I was doing this, I'd be mounting the 295 on the front, have to take it back off. Got one on the front, one on the rear. Yeah, yeah, I really dig these. They look even better with tires on them. It's because of the depth of this, or the way that that sits on the hub. We have to we have to reverse mount them on the uh, on the balancer. Yeah, this one's a little bit too big, but this side here it goes in, but kind of loose a little bit, so it doesn't tighten all the way. So I feel like we get a better balance.
know, the little light down there and everything, too. Yeah, and a laser and everything. Lights it up. Yeah. All right, if we didn't have the issues with the TPMS, I would have been out of there in less than an hour, but you know, an hour and 50, hour and 20 minutes, let's say, hour and 15 minutes. Jeff takes care of me, and so uh, I got one on the front seat, the other two in the back. It's tight, but in case you're wondering, you can fit 275, 295, 19s, and an E92 M3 off to the garage. I like this new idea here. Um, here's my receipt. You, you can actually log that I see. Nice. Did I do this? I don't know if I like this because now you see how much money I'm spending on this crap. I see it anyway. Oh, yeah. Um, give me this rebate. This is even better. That. I'll never do that. Yep. And then I needed to return these. They don't freaking work. Like, they sent me, like, two different ones. They sent me, so I need to send those back to Turner. It's Turner Motorsports when you're looking at the receipts. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like this game. This is good. This is my, my money man, my personal money manager here. Keep me out of trouble. Otherwise, these would probably sit in the cabinet for a while, and I'd been a punting them. It's like away. it's like three hundred bucks. I'd just be too lazy, and then it would be go too late. Well, we can do this online too. Yeah, you don't even have to do anything. You put this receipt number in there. You get seventy bucks, rich. Nice gift card. Prepaid Mastercard. Yep. Since I'll be buying more tires anyway here shortly. Well, it just so happens that my darn center cap showed up at the same exact time. So that's sweet. So I think I've got an interview that I gotta do. So I think what I should do is just start prepping the tires. I'm gonna shoot a video of me doing what I normally do, which is coat the tire, coat the wheels, and I don't know if I should skip the whole coating the wheels on video thing. Nah, I'll do it. These are a little different. It's kind of a satin finish. I haven't done that in a while, but I'll do my normal, normal video stuff on this. So I'm gonna back the M5 up. I've got to move it out of the way anyway. I want to do the exhaust today. I got to move the M5 out of the way anyway because, see, the 5 Series is a lot longer. So what I have to do, because I have the little ramp thingers in order to be able to get in the in the jack point position, the I have to lift it up, put the extensions up, put it back down, drive up over it, and then I can lift the car because the jack points are quite a bit longer on the on a 5 Series than it is on a 3 Series. Yeah, the wheels are great. The center caps don't match. You can see that color difference. And they're not the nicest quality, unlike the wheels that look amazing. And then I put the black valve sim covers on. Well, next new product is here. Visible glass. Oh boy, five gallons. I got 32 ounce, 22 ounce. They don't make a gallon anymore. Well, what? We're gonna fill our own. No, we're just gonna sell a five gallon. How many obsessed garage people does it take to put together a Sun Joe? <laughs> Battery powered. I'm excited. What I'm not excited about is going sweating my nuts off when we're testing these things. <laughs> <sighs> We should do that today. No, we'll do it on Monday. Everything's tomorrow. Got a uh, source garage wheel stand here. I'm gonna use to denib. All right, so I got three wheels done with a CSL, tires cleaned up, denibbed. We're gonna shoot a video doing the fourth one. And then all the uh, interior, some of the interior plus stuff started rolling in here. We got, oh yeah. OG specific interior cleaner 32 ounce bottles, which I'm sure now everybody will have, but gallons, 32s, 16s. We're gonna have five gallons of invisible glass, uh, which I'll probably end up using all myself. Hopefully some other people will buy it. Uh, Terminator is what I use to clean tires. Actually, yeah, after, after doing this, I like Terminator more than using uh, I feel like it doesn't dry out the tires, whereas using mineral spirits I don't like as much. We have the kind of hokey but really cool invisible, the, the reach tool, and then bonnets for that. So that's all what we're gonna work on, shooting those. Sonic Alcantara cleaner. Uh, so all I gotta do now, we gotta get the uh, leather cleaner stuff. I gotta call Brian Guy and get that stuff. 
figured out an order. And then I've also ordered, so Vision is going to be part of the package. So this will complement invisible glass, that's the plan, uh, in that it's much more aggressive. So I like the idea of having both. I've been using both. So I think it's good to have a just a small 16 ounce bottle in your cabinet to use sparingly because uh, I don't know how tint safe it is and then I'm going to carry both of these interior scents which I like Eden the most but some people will like Bliss but these are fantastic interior scents uh, and then uh, I've got some leather care stuff to get up in the store as well so uh, I won't have the package ready but we'll have the individual products rolling so I'm probably just getting the camera set up and then I'm uh, cleaning the tires then so Dina been cleaning then prepping, then coating with uh, CSL. Looks like I might be able to squeak by with what's left in the bottle. The satin finish soaks up a lot more, especially in the barrel, soaks up a lot more product. And then they built several more pressure washers, so I'm gonna be testing all of these here shortly. All right, so I just finished up, Bryce and I finished up shooting Alcantara cleaner, interior cleaner, glass cleaner, uh, I also shot um, Stoner's, Stoner's Terminator video, uh, and then we did, uh, what else did we do? Um, I cleaned up some stuff in the M5 on, on, on camera, uh, and I did the, uh, I coated all four wheels. So all four wheels are coated. They'll sit here overnight. I'd like to try to come back here, today's, today's Friday, I'd like to try to come back here tomorrow and, uh, and start coating them. Um, but I should probably mention to you what I got going on here with the M5, so you'll know. So, oh, well, I guess where do I start? So, dine and intake. We're going to be doing the dine and intake. IND painted gloss grills. So, we'll get rid of those grills. Chrome. Same thing with the gills. We have painted gills. And you can choose no tint, light tint, or heavy tint on this. I did light tint. So, notice black, matte black insert or satin black insert. Painted exterior. Looks awesome. And then this will be the front lip. So that's the front lip of it. These painted reflectors will replace the orange reflectors on there. Uh, what else do we got here? Um, negative camber. Uh, these add an extra half a degree of camber on the front. So when we lower it, we need those for the suspension. Uh, 3D design, I'll show you these later, but these are paddles, uh, aluminum paddle shifters. Um, I have uh, carbon mirror caps. Uh, I'm going to be doing something crazy, which will kind of help decram. I'm trying to decrampa this car. Uh, so I got 54 millimeter studs, and I'm going to be doing these uh, yellow um, Project Kicks, or I guess these aren't Project Kicks. These are Racing Composite Iconics R40 lugs. Uh, we have the uh, the electronic BMW electronic steering wheel and performance steering wheel. We'll be doing 12 millimeter front, 10 millimeter rear. Uh, um, of the um, future classic, uh, whatever you call those things, spacers. This is uh, 100 horsepower in a little bag, it's an ESS tune. Uh, I've got the dine and exhaust to put on. I'm gonna do that one first. I've got uh, the dine and suspension down here. I'm waiting on the sway bars, dine and pedals. Uh, so there's the, there's the suspension components. Uh, I'm in love with the diamond suspension on the M3, as you can tell. So I'm putting it here on the M5. I don't want to, I don't want to rice up or, or make the M5 harsh. It's kind of the point of it. It's supposed to be soft. Uh, and then I'll be doing uh, these wheels, but in black. So I think, pretty sure. Uh, so you can see the lugs. The yellow will semi-match the yellow of the carbon ceramic caliper. So. Anyway, that's a little flavor for where I'm getting started with. And before you freak out saying I'm making too much money, um, Dynan kind of sponsors the car. IND really hooks me up. So I don't have nearly as much in as you're adding up there as we're talking about the stuff. So anyway, we're uh, finishing up the day with uh, all the stuff going out. So a bunch of orders going out. Uh, I unboxed all the pressure washers, the pressure washer test. I'm going to probably do this Monday. I don't know. I'm going to try to. I'm kind of rushing here because I'm heading to Seattle. So I'm packing in a lot of stuff. And then we've got all the new products that they're trying to figure out where to put it. Because we're, uh, we're running out of space. Well, here we go again. 
trying to figure out where to put stuff. I certainly know how to create chaos. It's my skill set. Ted's ready to hang it up. Yeah, so we got boxes of stupid pressure washers. Uh, yeah, you guys gotta buy this stuff. Oh, interior clean looks so good there. Clean. Yeppy, yeppy. I'm gonna go look at what it looks like next door. Is that open over there? Yeah, it should be. And that tells me we're out of space over here. Oh, we got plenty of room. Oh boy. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Um. Yeah. Oh brother. Oh shoot. Ten percent off of um sixteen twenty twos. Need to get those out of here. Oh, we got plenty of room. We just need to clean it up. Need to reorganize. We got foam cannons. Tons of ain't getting out of here anytime soon. Oh shoot. Yeah, we could we could fit six more pallets in here easily. They just didn't do a good job. Oh yeah, there's a 1622s. They accidentally sent me a bunch of 1622s. So if you want one, you know the 1620s are cheaper. They come with a gun and a wand. Um, they're they're 890, and so we'll do 10% off and free shipping on those. Man, that car looks so good. I just got to get the paint dialed in. Repaint the trunk. Well, I think that's enough footage for today. Man, I'm beat. I'm doing all these videos. I had five different videos. Um, ran around all over the place. Did uh, the wheels and tires. So anyway, I think that's good enough for today. So we'll call it quits. I'm trying to decide whether I go to the gym or I go take a nap. You know it's a nap, man. Zip it, Ted. No naps. Naps, I'm over with naps. Naps are dead to me. What TV show are you watching nowadays? Uh, I don't have one. I need a new one. I need a new show. Anyway, catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. As always. Yeah. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. See ya.